CCTV footage reveals that the teacher did not actually assault the student and instead the pupil was caught in a fight with a classmate. Meanwhile, Qatar expresses its disappointment in the Taliban's decision to close Afghan girls' schools. Also on the roundup, Chadian delegations in Doha officially agreed to name Qatar as a mediator. And finally, after securing their World Cup tickets, fans need to apply for the mandatory Haya card. Hi, it's Fatma and this is the roundup. Here are today's top stories. CCTV footage received by authorities has revealed a pupil who claimed he was beaten by a teacher wasn't telling the truth. Instead, it showed that the teacher was trying to break a fight that took place during a break. Some members of the Ministry of Education and Higher Education conducted an immediate investigation shortly after the incident to evaluate the accuracy of the information given by the student. In a statement, the ministry stressed the importance of ensuring the accuracy of any incident happening within a school bound. Meanwhile, Qatar has expressed its great concern and disappointment with the interim government of Afghanistan's decision to close Afghan girls' schools just hours after opening them. Seven months since takeover, high school female students between the 7th and 12th grade were forced to not attend their schools as per the Ministry of Education's order, despite initially agreeing to allow girls' rights to education upon seizing control of the government last year. Qatar said that it remains committed to joining efforts with the international community to preserve the rights of all segments of the Afghan people. Qatar's foreign minister said that his country repeatedly pressed the Taliban to ensure women and girls achieve their rights. And now on to chat talks. Chadian delegations have unanimously agreed to name Qatar as the mediator at the preliminary talks. Qatar has hosted the negotiations for the Chadian side since 13th of March in an attempt to ease the political rift in the country, clearing a pathway for a long-promised free and transparent elections. For more information on the chat talks, head over to dohanews.co. Finally, after fans secured a World Cup ticket, they need to apply for the mandatory Haya card, which is a fan ID that will act as an entry permit to Qatar for international visitors, allow entry to stadiums, and provide several privileges for fans during their stay. Some of these benefits include free public transportation on match days. Also, there is a brand new weather website which will be providing the weather report and climate information during the World Cup 2022 event. International fans can now stay with their friends and relatives during the tournament. That's it from me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co.